was, uh, Cindy and I have been married one year. We were living in Nacogdoches, Texas mm -hmm. still, before going to Dallas. Need a little grace for that. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God was merciful to let me in any college. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say last night about humility? Yeah. Yeah. The bumper sticker at Stephen F. is not hard to be humble when you go to SFA. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. But we were in this <laughs> home of a, a doctor and his wife who had invited a few of us over for dinner. And uh, I don't know how the conversation got there. We're staying in the kitchen around the food, you know. And I made some off-the-cuff comment. I'm 23. And I said, well, you know, if it doesn't work out, I could always divorce her. And this doctor grabbed me by the arm and said, come with me. We went down into his bedroom. He closed the door. I can see a and wound. And he got in my face a and wound he said, coming. don't you ever tease about that with that woman again. Well, and you know what? That was not legalism. No, it wasn't. And I still remember it 32 sure. years later. You know, when you do that, it put a chill up my back as I put myself in your shoes. You almost tear up when you get a, oh, re yeah. when you get a reproof like that. First of all, you really respect him. And second, you know he has your good at heart. Absolutely. And which makes those kind of warnings and rebukes yeah. appropriate. And I put them under the category of grace. It took a lot of grace for him to not punch right. you, right. Oh, you know, <laughs> and for him to say, yeah. I want to say something to you and don't you ever, ever yeah. forget it. Uh, and you know, by the way, I never brought it up again. I mean, it, it, it was like branded. Yeah. Okay, God, I got that line. Right. That's one I haven't ever said again. <laughs> uh, we all have, uh, you know, memories like this. Oh. You're in my close friend, Howie Hendricks. We couldn't love anybody more Absolutely. than, than yeah. we love Dr. Hendricks. Uh, I'd been doing some things with him after I graduated, and we had traveled a little together and even spoken at some conferences together. So he had, of all things, said, sit and listen to me, as I had the joy of listening to him. And uh, he said to me, after the conference, we were on our way back to Dallas. He said, Chuck, um, you have a great sense of humor, but it is often at someone else's expense. Wow. Wow. And uh, I teared up. I said, uh, you're right. You're right, yeah. And you talk about correct. Often at my wife's expense. Yeah. You know how preachers can do. Or one of our own children's oh, yeah. expense. We're bad about You that. look back and you want to cut your tongue out. Yep. You think, why did I say that? Uh, so there is uh, there is a grace in accepting mm -hmm. that kind of reproof without any defensiveness. You're right. I'm wrong. How, how do I go forward? Yeah. Right.